here with offensive lineman center Eric McCoy. I'm Aaron Summers. You have been holding down the line, say the anchor of the offensive line for quite some time here. How have you gotten into that role, gotten comfortable with being that vet? You know, I would say it's being around, playing around the guys around me. Um, you know, the majority of the guys that I can think of besides Trevor are guys that I've played with for four years. So I feel comfortable with them on the field, off the field, um, communicating. And I feel like that's allowed me to kind of step into more of a leadership role, which has been really cool. You said communicating. You have a new quarterback in Derek Carr. How's that communication gone? I would say that it's been awesome so far. Um, he's a big communicator as well. So I feel like that's um, helped me along. And it's where we haven't had any mistakes, any MAs, um, or anything of that nature in practice. Um, so we've got to keep it going through the rest of the camp and into the season. And he's out there calling the shots. Takes a little bit off of your plate, huh? Yes, yes it does, which is nice. So you like the fact that he's the one kind of leading the offense out there? Yeah, and I think it's because he does a great job at it. Um, he can see things that I can't, especially when it comes to coverages, rotations, and that's been really beneficial for my development. There's been a lot of players rotating in and out of different positions across the line. How difficult is that, or do you think it's beneficial for what could happen this season? Yeah, uh, I would say it's been beneficial. Um, you know, throughout the season, there's bound to be injuries at some point. That's just the reality of the game that we play. So getting familiar with younger guys, getting familiar with guys that don't always play that position, I think can only help us. Trevor Penning is somebody that everyone is really excited about finally getting a full season from. What do you see from him every day that stands out? Jeez, he's, well, number one, he's like 6'7", 340, which that, that stands out in itself, just the stature. Um, but then he's freaking explosive um, in the run game, in pass pro. Like, he is quick, and he is getting off the ball, and he is blowing guys off the ball, which, like, each time I watch it, I'm, I'm enamored by it, so. Another rookie in Nick Saldaveri. Also, he was playing left guard today. He's been rotating in and out of the line. What do you like about him? Well, I think as soon as he gets the playbook down, he's going to be a monster. Um, you know, our playbook, getting in as a rookie, it's kind of hard to learn. So there's no um, diss there, I want to say. But once he gets that down, I think he's going to be rolling. I think he has all the attributes that you need to be an elite guard in, this, in the NFL, in this league. Um, I've been really impressed with him so far. How are you feeling coming into camp? You missed some time last year. So how are you feeling health-wise, and how do you we not let injuries creep up on you this year? Yeah, um, I've been feeling really good throughout camp so far. Um, and I would say just sticking on the prehab and rehab and doing more than I've done in the past. Mm -hmm. um, because that's something that I don't want to sneak up again, especially soft tissue stuff, which has been my um, downfall so far, I would say. Yeah. You're coming in here, training camps got gotten underway, the pads have gotten on. How much more intensity is there on the field, competition heating up? I can't speak for the skill positions, but I feel like O-line, D-line, as soon as you're out there, pads are on, competition's on, like you're, you're rolling, you're going, um, regardless if you have pads on, spiders on, or you're out there in jerseys. So um, competition's been great though. Mm -hmm. Like defense has reps they win, we have reps we win. Like we're going back and forth. Uh, we're making plays, they're making plays, and I'm excited for what we can be. You went to Texas A&M. Head coach Dennis Allen went there. You guys ever talk about that? You watch any games together? Uh, not necessarily. Um, you know, he's got his own things going on. I got my own things going on. But we're both uh, fighting Texas Aggies. There you go. What do you like to do outside of football? Outside of football? Well, I said earlier, I'm a huge online dinner guy, which means that I'm a big foodie. So I enjoy food, of mm -hmm. course, obviously. Um, I really enjoy spending time with my lovely wife. She's incredible. I have two beautiful dogs that I absolutely adore. So, there you go. Oh, All right. I enjoy fishing. I love fishing. fishing. So what's your go-to meal? Ooh, restaurant rebirth. You get the pork belly, the oyster and angel hair pasta, and they have a delicious steak. And you top it off with the bread pudding, and it's a great meal. All right, I'm going to have to go check it out. Thank you, Eric, for joining us. We'll be back with more of our Saints training camp report after this.